Now when it comes to sound on Linux, all the cool kids these days are using pipe wire. Now in the past, in just a few years really before pipe wire even existed, which wasn't that long ago, all the cool kids were using Pulse Audio. However, both Pulse Audio and pipe wire basically build off or use uh, the original Linux sound system, which is Alsa. And to be honest, although you hear just install Pulse Audio, install Pipewire, and your Linux sound will just work, it is a bit of a bloat. Let's put it that way. I'm not literally against using either. I am not anti Pulse Audio. I know some people are because of Leonard Pottering, whatever. I'm not anti Pipewire. Yes, just install them if they work for you. However, I do suspect that for most people, actually, it's not necessary. Now, really, Pulse Audio and Pipewire certainly help and serve people using bespoke audio programs, maybe. And if you're a content creator, I guess I'm technically a content creator. However, I do not use either Pulse Audio or Pipewire. I only use Alsa. Now there is a caveat to this. I guess technically certain programs drawing libraries that invoke some sort of pipe wire or pulse audio thing, but I will say on the face of it, I do not use uh, pulse audio or pipe wire. And today I'm gonna show you how, if you do not need either, just have Alsa. Alsa has a strange situation where it is kind of opaque and there was, is a, or was, uh, Luke Smith who had done a video in this in the past saying that just install Pipewire because it works. This is kind of, uh, sorry, Pulse Audio because it works. This is kind of pre-Pipewire uh, was, was in wide circulation on Linux, let's say, or before it was ready. So I'm not against either. They're great, I'm sure. But I do make do with Alsa, and it is nice to know that I do not need to pull in all these extra things, no matter how good the latency is, no matter how good the automation is. So let's just kind of get into this and let's have a look at um, some of these infrastructures, let's say, all these uh, drivers or systems for sound on Linux. So let's look at the screen. And of course, I've got the Arch Wiki up. Always good, generally, for this kind of stuff. So the great thing with the advanced Linux sound architecture, also known as Alsa, is effectively installed in the kernel straight away. Okay, so you can read the documentation. I'm not gonna read all this out. It's just basically there. So if you install your Arch Linux, it should just be there. However, unfortunately, it's not the easiest to deal with, I believe, and it is generally recommended. Just install something called Alsa Utils, which in one of my earlier videos, back in the day when I was doing an Arch Linux install, I did sort of cover this, but we'll have a quick look at this again, and includes the packages Alsa Mixer and A Mixer, and that's what we're gonna really be interacting with today to get you um, customization on Alsa that's just just nice, just should work, and no extra uh, libraries, no extra um, sound architecture needed. So then, let's just remind ourselves of what Pulse Audio is. Pulse Audio is a general purpose sound server intended to run as a middleware between your applications and your hardware devices, either using ALSA or the open sound system. So again, rem remember, Pulse Audio is not replacing ALSA, it's building off, so it's another layer you have to include. If you don't need it, do not use it. That's my thing. Start off with ALSA. If you need to add in these things, add them in. Why, why jump ahead when you don't need to? But you do you. There's also, I didn't mention this, Jack Audio Connection Kit, and I think this is generally used for very um, sophisticated or complicated or bespoke um, people who generally use music or make music or create music or need ex extreme control over their audio setup. Possibly not for most people, but again, it's something that some people require or use. And Pipewire is the gold standard, it seems, these days for 
um, just having audio that works. However, again, is it really needed? I'm not so sure it's needed for most people. Again, I'm not against it. And again, it says it's a low level multimedia framework, it aims to offer capture playback for both audio, support for or Pulse Audio Jack, Elsa and GStreamer. Now, uh, if you want to know more about this, I believe Brody Robertson did cover all these different things, pipe wire, jack maybe, and pulse audio. So if you want to know how these things literally work, have a look at Brody Robertson's videos. Very good, very good on that. But today, we are not going to be doing that. We are going to be doing Alsa Linux sound architecture. Okay, so where, where do we need to start off? So first thing to do, is do your sudo pacman-syu to update your package repository. Okay, I've said this so many times, just make sure you do it. Now, if you're on another system, do whatever the equivalent is for Debian, you know, Ubuntu, whatever distro you're using, and then you want to install the package Alsa Utils. I presume it's a similar name on all distributions. And obviously, I'm not going to reinstall it. So, there we go. So, First of all, I'm going to deal with Alsa Mixer, which is like the graphical interface. The nice thing with the Alsa Mixer, though, uh, is you can use it in the Teletype terminal, in the TTY, the Linux console. So it is using NCurses, I believe, so you can use it in there. So this is what it looks like. And I'm not literally going to go through everything because there's not too much to go through. So you can hit, just hit F1 if you need to know all the different keys. Uh, shall I put screen key on? Let's put screen key on so you can see what I'm doing. So hit escape to come out. So F1 to show you the shortcuts, escape to come out. And then you can use uh, W, which sets the general left and right speaker. Uh, X puts the general uh, speaker up and down. And you can do left and right with Q and E and Z and C if you if you want to control uh, left or right speakers. I hope that makes sense. And then you can use the arrow keys to go along headphones and all this kind of stuff. You look at that yourself. Again, if you want to, and you can use the up arrows and uh, down arrows, I think. Oh no, you can't. You have to do W and X to put sound up or whatever, on whatever. Um, M mutes and unmutes. So I think uh, if it says double zero, that's unmute, MM is mute, I hope that makes sense. And then if you want sound card information, hit F6 and escape to come out of that. So we're now, that is the easy way to do it. You can use it again in the Teletype terminal, you can use it in whatever. Great bit of little software Alsa mixer, but we are going to use the command line because it just feels appropriate. And the great thing with the command line, you can script it. So the other thing that was installed was uh, a mixer. And if we look here, uh, I have some, let's say, one line of shortcuts that I've used in the past and still technically use. Um, ignore the printf stuff here, but let's actually look at how this works. I will just give you a heads up if you want to look up um, some Amixer uh, commands. Let's come out of that a bit. Okay, so if you look at the bottom there, so TLDR, which is a program you can store with pseudo pacman dash s tldr and then just put in tldr and whatever program you want some shortcuts if it's in their library there's also something called cheats.sh which you can look up so they've only really got two here so you can turn up the master volume by 10 percent turn down the master volume by 10 percent now you can look at that and try those out for yourself but i've got my own equivalents here uh the first one we're going to do is just show you you can uh do a mixer Let's clear this actually. So you can do a mixer, and I will turn off screen key. I do apologize because it's just getting in the way. So you can uh, do a mixer dash c, um, and what is what is the uh, a mixer's flag? So if I go dash c, so they have got some examples here. So again, look at the uh, man page for a mixer. How good is that? I can't promise they will work for your system, but I'm sure it, I'm sure you can work it out. Um, so we, what we want though is dash C. I'm sure it will, does it give us dash C? 
Okay, card. Okay, card, right. So your card, your sound card, okay. Um, just set it to zero because I presume that's the master, the main. Again, if you need to look at Alsa Mixer, look at what cards you've got installed with F6 and then work it out from there. And again, you might need to look up extra documentation. You might need to look up, um, you know, other stuff on the internet. And then I don't know if this covers SS set. Okay. So, uh, SS set and CS set are accepted. Other commands are ignored. So this is uh, read from standard and execute the command on each line. Mm, okay, whatever. Uh, here we go, this is what we want. Set or SS set. So set the simple mix control contents. You can read all that. This is what we use. You don't want me to read all that out. Right, and then master. Master is just what is the um, whatever it is, the master is the main sound system, okay? Again, this is just a, you know, laptop, the master is the main sound system. Again, if you need bespoke um, uh, parameter or control, again, just look at the documentation. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to cover everything. Maybe I will in the future. So again, if you look at the, use Alsa Mixer. Look at master is set there. So again, if you need headphones, speaker, just replace it. I'm sure, I'm sure it will be fine. Um, and then let's. What I'm going to do is I am going to mute my main sound on here. Okay. And then so I'm going to use unmute. And if you see, it gives some feedback. And if I go back into the master, it is now unmuted. Fantastic. So again, it's muted now. I've just hit the M key. If I do that again, unmuted. Okay, fantastic. So the next one is uh, I've got a command that comes after which is set the playback volume. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this all the way down to 11. So I can use a mixer. Again, we want the dash C. Zero is the card. Dash dash SS set. And then we want playback. And we want uh, minus 10 decibels. Now again, you want to play with the decibel level or the percentages, by all means, please do and work out what works for you. But this is what, oh, it did not work. Why did that not work? Uh, a mixer dash C zero SS set. Ah, again, put in your, put in your device, let's say. So master playback minus 10 decibels. So if I go, as you can see, Alsa Mix, Alsa Mixer has adjusted the master volume to 66. Okay, fantastic. Um, so, what else can we do? Now, the, again, the obvious things I'm just going to cover today are upping and lowering the volume. And the good thing about these things, you can script it. Okay, so uh, if I want uh, a mixer, SS set, and then again, master, I want the playback to go up 5% plus. Okay, and then I hit enter, and then as you can see, it's now 78. I go back again, 92, and so forth. So again, it's pretty simple. You can see how you can script this. So if I want minus, and I go back, it's now gone back to 78, okay? So you can see how you can script this. You could, you know, we could create a little script, or you could create an alias, so, um, what is up a command now? So if I go into my vim.bashrc and let's put an alias in, alias up equals um, a mixer ss set master playback. And let's, let's put it up by, well, no, let's put it down by 20%, okay? No, it doesn't make any sense. Put it up by 10%. If it's called up, it needs to go up 10%, right? So, and then percentage plus, close that out of the, um, whatever it's called, the quotation, and then obviously spell alias correctly. Right, now let's source our dot bash RC. And then if I type, well, let's first of all see where we are. So we're on 78. So if I type up, as you see, I get feedback. And now it's pushed all the way up to 100. Now remember percentage and against the master volume, 
uh, is not necessarily maybe the percentage you think because it doesn't actually put it up say 10 points I don't know exactly how it correlates you test it out see what works for you but that's how you use Alsa in its rawest form let's say I think it's great I don't need to have extra implementations of sound devices and yes I'm a content creator because I make stuff but it doesn't mean you have to do this that's just all I'm gonna say you work it out for yourself if you need pulse audio if you need uh, pipe wire that's fine but I just want to show you what can be done with the sound system what control you have and if it works for you. Now I would say, um, I think if you're using say OBS, it might be easier having pipe wire, it might be easier having pulse audio, I don't doubt that. So you can jump down the f my throat in the comments section, say you don't know what you're talking about, that's fine. I'm just saying from my example, and what I would say is just start off at this base level and build up from there. Do not have excess where you don't need it, that's all, okay. So um, we will leave it there and I just want to say, of course, you know, you can do the fake YouTube, you can like, you can comment and you can subscribe. And uh, as you know, I have the uh, a Patreon and I have a YouTube uh, membership program where you get certain little perks if you want them. And uh, uh, my current membership includes Sean. So a big thank you to Sean, whose name should be showing up on the screen. And uh, have a look at the description if you want to join that. Have your name on the screen at the end or have early access videos, for example. So there we go. And uh, we'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next one.